so the exhibition is called Chrome Music, and there are two new films. Um, I hope I'm loud when I'm dead, which is in Gallery Two, and um, De Sœur qui sont pas sœurs, which is in Gallery One. Um, also in Gallery Three, behind us is a really expanded program of events featuring all the people who have participated in the films or feature in them or uh, have been part of their making somehow. Chief Justice Roberts, President Carter. President Clinton, President Bush, President Obama, fellow Americans, and people of the world, thank you. I hope I'm now when I'm dead. Started off with two poets, two famous, two American poets, one called Eileen Miles and one called C.A. Conrad. Uh, initially, it was supposed to be uh, more of a portrait, say, of those two poets, but it kind of um, expanded into something else entirely. The course of America and the world for many, many years to come. I hope I'm allowed when I'm dead. It's really a film about motherhood and intimacy and um, tenderness and those things as they interface with a world mediated by images of total chaos and terror, and the poets function as a kind of chorus or guide through this kind of chaotic political and social time. A spider's web is made of digested fly brains, wings, hairs, legs, tears, pheromones, attracting more flies. When I started to think about why I was reading poetry and what poetry had meant to me and why I've been drawn to their work, it seemed to make much more sense to um, tumble into this autobiographical, um, confessional mode and just put it all out there, which was really challenging and really difficult because I've not done that previously. I, I mean, I always feature to some degree in my films, but it's in a very abstracted and formal way. So this did much more justice to the political urgency and, and amazingness of C.A. and Eileen's poetry. I wanted to put all these voices in one frame for you. so that one day, if needed, you could use them to unwrite whoever it is you're told you're supposed to be. De Sœurs qui sont pas Sœurs, which translates as two sisters who are not sisters, is based on a script by Gertrude Stein that she wrote in 1929. Um, it's a sort of absurdist thriller, um, a crime thriller with no crime really. Uh, there are six characters, two washerwomen, um, two poodles, uh, two seats of car, um, a beauty queen and a gentleman. Is this your house? No. No? Are you sure? No, no, I'm very good. I'm very good. Stein was really interested in, in uh, repetition and duality, and so formally it deals with that. The kind of main intervention on my part is that I cast it with a network of um, friends and influences, um, people I admire, um, people who've supported my working life. It's both um, based on this thriller by Stein, but it also kind of um, took a left turn into being much more about, um, well, it's a collective representation of the people that are in it and um, the things that started to happen in their own lives during the production process. For me, the difference between showing them in a um, gallery context and showing them in a cinema is that in a gallery you have this great opportunity to expand upon all the um, otherwise hidden elements that go into a film's production, hidden, hidden people. So in Gallery 3, there are different live events that the people involved in the films are putting on um, from performances. So Adam Christensen, he plays the accordion amazingly and he has, does some sort of spoken word things also. Eileen Miles and C.A. Conrad, they are coming over to do a residency. My son, Obi, who is in Loud Dead, is doing um, a day of... <laughs> kind of unclear, uh, he's doing a day, it's called an afternoon of mayhem with Obi and um, he's devised the contents. He's five, so yeah, I think the word mischief and suspicious 
and um, some <laughs> there's some other adjectives are in the program description. I guess going back to Eileen and CA and the poets that I've been influenced by, you know, for this show, I'm interested in emotion and beauty and in deploying those things critically. And I love the cinema. I love going. I love crying. I want. I love feeling. I think feeling is a vital category, and um, I, I don't think it's an uncritical one. So when people come and watch these films, whether in a gallery or in a cinema, I want them to. To, to, to respond, to feel them, to respond emotionally.